But now, we get to face the Wily stages. Yep, there was uh, Cossack Citadel, and now we're going to Skull Castle. And if we quit any time during Skull Castle, we have to do Cossack Citadel again. Not good. Or maybe not. Maybe not. It depends. If it brings us back to the... Nope. I was going to say, if it brought me back to the main menu, then it would be safe to quit and come back. But since it didn't, if you leave, you're going to have to do Cossack Citadel again, I believe. Also, I love the intro fanfare to uh, Skull Castle. And also, something a lot of people don't think about. So, you know how, like, in Mega Man 4, like, half the Robot Masters were really lame? Like, Toad Man or Vacuum Man slash Dust Man? That's intentional, because Cossack actually didn't want to kill Mega Man, so he made half of them, like, terrible, so Mega Man could easily beat them. And he made the other half pretty good, just to make so Wily wouldn't be suspicious. That's my opinion, anyways. Stupid Mets. Yeah, this is the Met level. Oh, forget it. Oh, nope. Why are there so many Mets in here? This is not Construction Man stage. Brawl in the Family reference. Oh, that was a great webcomic. Alright. Oh, darn it. My stuff did not refill. Alright. Well, we will get more Dust Crusher. And now the underwater part. Remember, in under when you're underwater, you jump much higher. So, make sure you don't plummet into the spikes on the ceiling. Sliding is your friend for a lot of the platforming segments. Oof, that's, that's a nerve-wracking jump. So this is that one! Dr. Wily loves abusing death spikes in his stages. And you knew this was having this was gonna come. Disappearing block puzzles. Fortunately, that one's not too bad. You can also use various adapters to get through that. Okay, I thought for sure Cossack was weak against the wire adapter. That was too close. I think there's one boss in the game that's weak against Wire Adapter. I thought for sure it was Cossack. I was wrong. Oh darn it. I should have switched to a weapon to get more energy. <laughs> Apparently Dr. Wily has aquatic Mets that he keeps as pets. That's a little weird, Wily. Alright, time for the boss. I forget what its weakness is if it has one. It's Met Daddy! The biggest Met you'll ever see. Hey! Ouch! Because you can damage him so rapid- Ow, oh, okay, come on, that's not fair at all! <laughs> this boss does have a bit too much random chance in it. With his, uh, jumps, it's not a guarantee that he's, you're gonna be able to slide under him. Also, come on, you're bringing me back to this point. Thank you for the one-up. Darn it. Again, should have you uh, refilled the weapon energy. Wow, thank you! It's hard to believe I ended Cossack Citadel Stage 1 with only uh, with no extra lives. And I don't know how that worked, but I will not complain.
These are always more nerve-wracking over death spikes. I should probably try to find Met Daddy's weakness. Or use an energy tank against him. Let's see, what have I not... Oh, oh I, I know. I hope this works on him. This is Bright Man's weapon. The Flash Stopper. Okay, that does not work on him at all. And I cannot change weapons. And that is terrible against him as well. Drill bomb? Nope. No cigar. Fever Shot does a decent amount of damage, but then again, it does a decent amount of damage against anybody. Darn it! Once again, there should be a checkpoint right before the boss, but there just isn't. I'm not sure if that's a problem with just the Anniversary Collection or with all Mega Man 4 copies. I would not uh, be surprised if it was just the Anniversary Collection. But still, I get fast weapon switching and uh, better interface, so I am okay with that. Let's try Rain Boomerang. When in doubt. Sure enough, decent damage. Curse you. Oh, darn it. No! no! Okay, well, we killed each other, but he killed me first. Darn it. And I wasted my reins! Maybe a little drop weapon energy for me. Hey, will you give me weapon energy so I can kill your dad? Colorful Artie 2017! Ooh, jackpot! Yes. My rings appreciated. Disappearing blocks are even nice in that they stick around for longer than the uh, most other ones do. One way it goes, first one disappears, new one appears. Oh yes, please. If you like it, then you should have put arena on it. So. Met Daddy, will you marry me? Considering you're a daddy, you might already have a wife? I didn't... Okay, he did not hit me there. <laughs> Okay, Met Daddy has a much bigger hitbox than he should have. Goodbye, Met Daddy. 
I only have six rings left. Hey, if I use one more, then I'll have five golden rings. That's easily one of my favorite Wily Castle intros. I do not know why, but lately I've just had this really violent cough. Yep, that's the one. Thank you, Beat. So this is the Wily level with the spike drop. Every Wily level has a spike drop, and these ladybugs are not going to help. Little caterpillar. Hi ho, rush away. Hi, Eddie. What you gonna give me? Well, thank you very much, Eddie. Okay, well that that's just a troll. Sorry, laptop. Please don't stop recording my game footage because I accidentally kicked you. Alright, we need more rings. Oh, you know there's something up here. Or not. <laughs> Glad I didn't waste a wire adapter going up there. Oh no! Coil me, Rush. was worth it. Rush, please stop fall. <sighs> okay, Rush is completely worthless. We are using a wire! Hook shot! Oh, you can actually shoot the dispenser? I never knew that. Oh, sure enough. That's cool. Gumball machine. He didn't really know what to do when I got close. Alright, who's the boss of this dungeon? I forgot about this guy. It's the elephant turret. Hi. That did nothing. That did very little. Ow. Are you weak to Rain Boomerang as well? Okay, I'm getting sick of the game not spawning me in the right boss door. I thought that was just on Cossack Citadel 1. No, that's actually a very regular thing in the Fortress stages, apparently. And again, not sure if it's an anniversary collection only kind of thing. Or if it's a Mega Man 4 kind of thing.
You know what? I've got a ton of E-Tanks. I might as well use them. I also realize I haven't been hitting it in its weak spot, which is the green jewel on its forehead. That's not it. That's not it. It's rains! Well, I don't have rains. Will dust work? It works passably well. I think I will just buster it. I'll use up the rings I have, though. There we go! Yeah! I can't propose to anybody anymore, but it's okay because I killed an elephant robot. Color Farty 2017. I hope I can refill my weapons. One quick and easy way to refill your weapons, have a game over! And you st you uh, do start on the level you are on. You don't go back to Cossack Citadel 1. Oh yeah! Ring me up, Scotty. Ow. Oh, sweet! More rings! Oh, I, sh I should also get my Bright Stopper up. I mean, not my Bright Stopper, my Flash Stopper. It should be Bright Stopper, because it's Bright Man, not Flash Man. But yeah, I want to show off all the boss weaknesses now. Even the ones that I didn't use. Maybe not Dive Man's, just because Skull Man's weapon, like, even though it deals extra damage against Dive Man, it's just terrible for him. And yep, yeah, it's the Wily Rematch Room. Pick a teleporter. Any teleporter. Let's try this one. It's Drill Man. I'm here to show you he's just as easy with charge shots as he is with his di uh, dive missiles. I forgot he could jump. I actually did. I can't believe I'm using an energy tank against Drill Man. Drill Man is one of the most legitimately tough robot masters in the game, to be fair. And hey, you can even kind of see him in the ground beneath the teleporter. Goodbye, Drill Man. Hi, Bright Man. Man, he can just corner you really easily. And presenting his ultimate weapon, the Flash Stopper. Yes, he can actually stop time in the battle for you. Whew, that was a close one. Bright Man's tough as well. And Skull Man is also very hard if you don't use the Dust Crusher.
thought Schoolman was supposed to stop when he reached the place you were standing. Maybe he stops right in front of where you are. Oh, that was fast. Is this Dive Man? Sure enough. Hi, you are not supposed to do that. If you're in the air when he stops his Psycho Crusher, he is supposed to shoot missiles at you. If you're on the ground, he will do another Psycho Crusher. Hi. Hi! You are breaking your pattern. And that is what happens when you use Skull Barrier against him. You take a lot of damage in the process. Who's this? Oh, Toad Man! Okay, I feel bad for completely obliterating him last time. We'll show off what more what he can do. If you shoot him when he's not raising his hands, he actually does jump. And if he does this, Rain Flush him. Wow, that deals a ton of damage. And he's weak against Drill Bombs. Very weak against Drill Bombs. I probably should have saved my drill bombs because I'm going to need them for the next fight. Is this Rain Man? Dust Man. Well, I got your number, Dust Man. Uh-oh. Take that. Alright, I think Rain Man's on the top, which means this... Nope, this is Rain Man. You know what, that's just as well. Because I want to show off how to beat him with Mega Buster only. Because I didn't do that last time. I have no lives. Crud. This could be bad. <coughs> jump the first rain, and jump over the second rain. To do it better than I did. Well, has after Avenger. Okay, wow. That was bad. Well, at least I got full weapon energy. Does it keep my energy tanks? It does. Well, well. Killer ceiling fans. So, let's see. Hardest ones first, I think. And hey, I got my drill bombs refilled, because I'll need those. Let's start with Bright Man. Goodbye.
Ow. And that's Dive Man when he's at his most dangerous. <laughs> Seriously, why dive man? Why not submarine man? Or periscope man? Or torpedo man? There hasn't been a torpedo man yet. Alright, Toad Man. Do your worst. Hands down! Hands down! Do not put your hands up in the air like you just don't care. Nope. Not Toad Man. Not him. Nuh uh. You're not volunteering. We don't want you for the team. Nope. Just put your hands down, Toad Man. Nope. No rain. No rain. I hate rain. Sun forever. I actually love rain in real life. I'm not a fan of being in the rain, but I like rain. I love looking at it. Man, Drillman, you're not... For a guy named Drillman, you did not spend a lot of time underground. Alright, I think Dustman next. Take that. Alright, Rain Man, I'm gonna try to beat you no damage this time. Or not no damage, but with just the buster this time. But that stupid rain always curves the wrong way. Seems to be a valid strategy. Whoop! There we go. Alright. Now it's time to use Feral Man's weakness, and this is how we can completely humiliate him. See, the problem is, Pharaohs are, uh. Oh, darn it! Darn it all! supposed to happen is, yeah, you just do this, but I made the stupid mistake of doing it while he was in midair, so now I think it's going to run out of time before I kill him. But yeah, Feral Man is literally like the only enemy that really stops to this, so... Take that, Feral Man. I believe we want Drill Bombs for this fight. It's Wily Machine 4. No, not that. Yeah, as you can see, that did nothing. And I can't change weapons until it's gone. That's certainly helping. Oh, what do you know? Rains! <laughs> 50% of enemies perish before the might of the rain. Okay, it's this form you want to use drill bombs for. 
what you want to do is de see how it bounces off. You can actually detonate it before it hits, and it'll blow up the uh, weak point. And that's what you want to do. As you can see, that dealt a hefty amount of damage. That was a bit too close. Bring some energy tanks to this fight. Goodbye, Wily. Also, if you pull out a Rain Flush as he's flying away, it will literally kill him, and then the game will just freeze there. It's kind of interesting. Time for the final stage of the game. Alright, can I please get some weapon refills? Because there's one weapon in particular I really want to refill. It's Pharaoh Shot. Well, thank you. Okay, and this, unfortunately, is the game that introduces the Wily Capsule. So Dr. Wily is totally invinc invisible in this form, and he can appear anywhere, and deals insanely high damage. Oh, and he's got... he's very hard to hit. What you want to do is hold this above your head, and hope you run into Wily with it. That's literally the strategy. There we go. Got him. Pharaoh Shot is like literally the only weapon that really works against this guy. Just because he's in, like impossible to hit if you don't have it. I guess Rain Flush would hit, but that only deals one point of damage. And of course Flash Stopper doesn't work. Alright, that gives me almost full Pharaoh shot. Sweet. This was a good idea for a boss battle. Let's make the final boss totally invisible, insanely powerful, and really hard to hit. I guess the invisible and hard to hit kind of go hand in hand. Uh, and that's a, that sometimes happens. Just to be safe. I guess dive missiles might be able to hit him, but I think they just bounce harmlessly off. Oh, whoa! He's, like, out of HP. Okay, Pharaoh Shot dealt huge damage against him that time. Beg for mercy. Wily's like, sucker! Just leaves. Danger. Evacuate immediately. So Wily takes off in his saucer, Mega Man teleports out, and Wily's castle blows up.
Not necessarily in that order. And that is quite a mushroom cloud. How did they get it to look like a skull? And that's Mega Man 4. Not as good as the first three, but still very fun. Yeah, next up is Mega Man 5, where the first half of it I'm going to be This is fun! Second half I'm going to be Ah, oh, this is terrible. But we'll get there when we get there. Mega Man 4 is... It did a lot of good things right. I like the co I like Cossack. I wish they would bring him back in more Mega Man games. Because he's actually, I think, more interesting than Wily. Uh, I really, I do like the weapons in this, with the exception of Flash Stopper, Skull Barrier, and to a certain extent, Dust Crusher. I think they're all pretty useful. Like Rain Flush is good, Dive Missile is good, Rain Boomerang's really good, Pharaoh Shot's really good. I'm gonna miss that. <laughs> I think they did a very nice job uh, balancing the game, and this is where Meg the Mega Man games start getting really gorgeous 8-bit visuals. Like, all the stuff where, like, you're riding a train, and, like, all just the really impressive sprite art is very well done. These games push the NES to its limits. And also, if you play on the NES, the music cuts out a lot, like... Whenever the boss's HP is filling up, all the music just completely disappears until it's completely filled, which is kind of weird. But yeah, I feel like if this game has a weak point, specifically, it's the music. I feel like the music for this game just isn't terribly great, except for Cossack Stage 1. The rest is kind of forgettable. <laughs> Bright Man's number 25, apparently. Toadman is 29? What was he made for? What purpose was he made for? Number 27, Drill Man! Number 26, Sparrow Man! Sparrow Man is cool. I was skeptical about him at first, but he's actually quite cool. Number 28, Rain Man. Why Rain Man as well? Is he like a jewelry robot master? Number 30, my vacuum cleaner. He blows. Dive man. Submarine man is better. <laughs> I guess that's also one of my bigger complaints is that... <laughs> Skull man, number 32. Is that like half the robot masters in this are lame, and at least they kind of like explain why, or if you think about it, it makes sense. But still, like, if you just take a glance at the Robot Master stage, you're like, really? Rain Man? Toad Man? Dust Man? Like, really? I don't know. But yeah, this was a fun game to Let's Play. Very short. I think this is only going to be four or five episodes. I think this is only going to be four episodes, actually. And there's Eddie. Thanks for your help, man. Presented by Capcom. Alright, and we get back to the Anniversary Collection main menu. And that's, I think, where we're going to end the Let's Play. Thank you so much for watching. I am Colorful Artie. Hope to see you for my next Let's Play. Have a great day, and God bless.